Darrow's memorial book. Beloved Sarah, this is my final letter to you and I'm writing it to ask you for your forgiveness. Forgiveness for murdering you, because that's what I've done. I can very well imagine how you would react to this if you were still alive. You'd smile, shake your head, and tell me that this was one of my moments when I tend to blow everything out of proportion, but as much as I would like to believe that, you'd be mistaken. No, it wasn't me who ended your life, but I still bear the responsibility for it, for it was I who let this come, let it come this far. Why? Because I was the one who deceived you. I was the one who told you those ridiculous tales of heroes and idealists. It was I who told you that only cowards give up, and it was I who infected you with all these ideas of mine, which were no more than foolish illusions. I see it now, clearer than ever, but I didn't but I didn't then, because I made a mistake. The mistake of thinking that this world wants to be saved. It sounds trite, doesn't it? But the more you think about it, the more apparent it becomes. It doesn't. It never did, and it never deserved it anyway. And yes, I can imagine what you'd say to that too. But I became what we always loathed. But Sarah, look around. Just look around. Look around and confront reality. Confront the world we live in. Look at how much we have and how little we appreciate it. Look at how we could work together, but we fight wars instead. Look at how we could choose love, but instead choose hatred. It's never been different. Sarah, and no, there's no hope. No matter how much we tell ourselves there is, and it hurts me to write this. <clears throat> Pardon me. It really does, but it's the truth, plain and simple, and I'm tired of clouding my mind with all these lies we tell ourselves again and again, just to avoid confronting the the obvious mankind is at its end yeah lillers i know what you mean kind of a little bit too much like reality a kirian or something philosopher once wrote that there's a point in our lives when we make a choice the choice either to live valiantly but in austerity or to live corruptly but in pleasure the latter is what this philosopher calls choosing the void, because that is what's behind the surface of the supposed attractiveness of it. And do you see where I'm going, Sarah? All of them, all these numb-headed fools around us, chose the void. We were among the few who didn't, among the few who dreamed of something more and who were willing to sacrifice for it, and we might even have succeeded if we hadn't been alone. But we were, Sarah, we were alone. And now they all talk of the red madness that infects their mind, infects our minds. Madness? It's so simple, don't you see it? They realize what they've chosen. They realize that their lives are devoid of sense, of purpose. And they can no longer look away from the truth. That they and their cowardice, that they and their ignorance, shaped a world with nothing in it worth living for. And no, I do not say this lightly. You should know this better than anyone else. I wanted to believe it. I wanted to believe that there's a way that we had only to try hard enough. But what I see here, your withered body, shows me that all of our plans were doomed from the start. We should have fled to some remote island to become old together, but we didn't. And now I'm here with your blood on my hands, all because I infected you with my folly. I'll go, Sarah. I don't know whether something awaits me after death or whether it's just darkness, and to be honest, I don't care. But before I go, I'll give this world what it deserves. Do you remember what I wrote? They had the choice between virtue and void, and they chose the latter. And they shall have it. Wow. What's that? Let me see. Uh-huh. A tragic ending for a tragic personality, I'd say. Well, I think that should suffice. What do you think about all this? Well, what should I think about it? Yarrow was a self-righteous fool, just like all these do-gooders are. They celebrate themselves as great messiahs as long as everything goes well, but once they fail, it's the bad, bad world that's responsible for it. The wise hermit has a good saying for that. People are only idealists until it starts to hurt. He and his lady should have simply stayed in Riverville. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Come on, that's nonsense. Mankind wouldn't be where it is without idealists. 
If it weren't for them, we'd probably still be worshipping Astaron? Astaron? Hmm. I don't know. It's kind of reasonable, I guess, yeah. Does that make sense? That idol idealists tend to only be idealists until there's a problem? Hmm. I don't know. It's hard to say. On the other hand, do are idealists really responsible for the advancement of mankind? Hmm. I don't know. Eh, he makes an interesting we'll point either way. way. So what's next? Yeah. We are. Here, I've got two teleport scrolls that can take us right back to Riverville. Just meet me in the tavern once you're ready to go. I have some stuff to take care of, so there's no need to hurry. Farewell. What are you... Oh. Well, that's a hand handy scroll. Okay, I'm gonna take this with me. That's That was pretty... Pretty intense. Very sad. Very sp the whole situation's a shame, really. So if I go back this way, am I going to be able to still get out? Nope. Oh, yes. Didn't actually lock behind us. Good, good. So I could go back to Riverville now, but... Oh, I just set off a trap. Yeah. <laughs> the spell just sort of disintegrates you, and then... I guess it's kind of like the um, magic equivalent of a tele uh, transporter in Star Trek. You know, dematerializes you, wisps you off as energy, and... Okay, so we've got, um, I'm kind of curious about this ore terminal over here. We have to meet with Jasper over here. Got to kill this, uh, boar cut guy. But, uh, first of all, I want to check out this, this ore terminal place. The one that's apparently a pirate hangout. Did I just hear somebody speak? No? Ow! Nope. Good grief, why can't I equip that? Yeah, those are... Those are pirates, I guess. I'm not, you're not going to let me get a sneak shot on you, are you? Oh, oh. Oh, are you... Oh, you're shooting arrows at me now. Okay. Oh, 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 hey. He's there, buddy. Oh, oh, mm. Oh, you're good at blocking. Really good. And. Can I search you? I think all that's better than, better than, uh, I mean, the same as what I have. Where are you? Oh, oh, right there. Okay. Ow. 
Ow. Oh, oh, I got an arrow right in my eye. <sighs> yeah, that is too sh too bad. I guess, um, I guess it's not really, like, it's an entirely different universe, right? So the beast races don't actually exist. But still, like you said, beautiful, beautiful mod. I mean, just, just look at this. It's incredible. And there's a castle up there. Not that that is particularly relevant, but you know. Yeah, me too. I'm like, whoa, oh, you guys are uh, swearing and, and things in this? <laughs> Custom voice acting at its best. Okay, so there's a, there's that hangout over there, and then there's a, just a path path leading. I assume this path eventually leads up to that castle. Can I get up here? Alright, save before we go into the pirate hangout. Or hideout. Or how, if there's any pirates in here. It's a lot of light coming in. Interesting. Okay, so... So they brought uh, the ore here, loaded it onto ships. Makes sense. Now it's a pirate hideout. Didn't <laughs> you get to the Cloud District often? Of what am I saying? Of course you don't. How could a fool like you ever get to the Cloud District? Okay, we got a trap. I don't have zoom yet. Is that a guy? That looks like a guard. Up there. Yeah, we got a guard. We got a couple of guards. happens if I kind of sneak off a bit. Are they going to come this way? Yeah. I lost me. Alright, they're not really... Oh, there's one right there. Manslayer Skyrim thing, yeah. <laughs> Somebody over there. Okay, so there's a bunch of highwaymen here. I don't really want to fight them all at once. So I'm just going to completely cheese the sneak system. So they didn't actually 
fix sneak archery. It's still massively overpowered. All right, Lillers, have a good time. Hope uh, hope you don't pass out from blood tests. That sucks. Thank you. Hi, Hydrix. Welcome to the chat. Sorry, it's not se it doesn't seem to be I have a um I'm using um a chat program that like combines the chats from both uh, Twitch and YouTube and it doesn't seem to be connecting to YouTube, which is odd. So apparently you can only chat with me from Twitch. Is he healing in between? I hope not. That would be pretty sucky if they are. That was hard. Just a scratch. All you got. He's really good at blocking. Combat's Just definitely better than Skyrim. Nice. Um, I've been, uh, well, Skyrim I've been playing since 2012. I think I got it early 2012. Um, Endroll, I've played a total of about three hours. I want more old iron arrows. I mean, I've got a lot of them. What's a staff of healing, anyway? Heals target for 30 points. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, Skyrim is a fantastic game, that's for sure. And this mod is incredible. And this is not the, I mean, this is the biggest of all the mods, but um, there's a lot of amazing quest mods and just, you know, mods that change the, uh, the way the game plays. There are multiple ways to use mods to basically make Skyrim a completely different game.
shot at. 1.5 sneak damage. Are you planning on buying it for console or for PC? console. Okay. I have never actually... Well... I don't have any of the main consoles. Somebody gave me a Wii U. And then, um... I bought, like, Lego Star Wars or something for it. Well, you might as well blow it on Skyrim then. <laughs> Just wait for the um, the remastered version because that's that's available for Xbox One and PS4. Otherwise, you got to get it for the 360 or the PS3. The remastered version should you know, be pretty good. Although this mod will not work on console. It's too big for one thing. That's cool. Even the um, even the vanilla Skyrim is good. Can't detect me. So easy to sneak around, do sneak archery in this game. Oh, got uh, some moon care out there. Could just heal right up.
I've never played Board Borderlands 2, but Borderlands 1 was fun. Um, and I haven't played Call of Duty since, like, they left World War II. Mmm, give me some of that mooncake. Mmm. Sweet, sweet mooncake. <laughs> I'm not, I'm still not entirely sure, I'm actually, uh, that they're not just healing. dear. Okay, I need to actually take some sort of healing potion here. Okay, you're done. There you go. Oh, I gotcha. I think you might have shot me too. Chain gloves, that's heavy. And, uh, okay. That's, that's that for... For that, I guess. <laughs> Uh, let's take some pumpkin. And what is my current level of uh, arcane fever? Okay, I could take some ambrosia. That's better. Question is, is anybody else around? What's this? Poison of magic detachment. So, the chicken, blessed leather gloves, light spells, eh, I'd probably just sell it. There's nothing up there by the looks of it. There's a little bit of a, you know, a little fort thing over there. And apparently they they got themselves ballista, shock resist, and stamina regenerates faster. And what's inside here? Oh. I'd actually go in there. That could be trouble. Okay, let's take some more 
Food. Cabin in the refuge. We're gonna see what is out there. You have got some kind of enchanted mace, that's not good. By the prophet's ass, someone's out there. By the prophet's ass? By the prophet's ass, someone's out there. Oh! Oh, bow. Ow. What what the heck did he just hit me with? I don't have... I, I can't do anything with my weapon. I'm, like, stuck. Weapon skill reduced. Okay. Oh. Oh, I gotta... It's just a glitch. Okay. Ow! Ow! You picked the wrong enemy, my friend. Yeah. Um, can I... Oh. Okay, and... Ow! Okay, I think... I think I got this. Taking a lot of damage, but... Oh, oh, oh. A little bit too much damage. Okay, so we, uh... Whatever, take that one. Oh, gotcha. So he's got Fists of the Well-Traveled One. Bows do 5% more damage. Isn't that uh, the same... Same set, yeah, as this. Okay, I'll take that. And I already have two of these, so I don't need more of them. Find clothes. Potion of the Fingersmith. Uh, scroll of Water Breathing. Roasted Poultry Meat. A goblet. And an apprentice level chest. Oh, come on. What? Oh. No. Ah, ah. There we go. Hope it was worth it. Take all those, sure. Oh, whatever. I can carry all this stuff. Note. Esteemed Koldrak, I request that we immediately send men to move the looted goods from the shelter. This old ore ad at it? may be an ideal hiding place for the ship, which we use for the assaults on the merchant ships heading to Ark. However, the hideout is rather noticeable due to the placed lorry tracks. If the steel crabs get wind of it, we can't secure the goods anymore. See you later, Hydrix. Thanks for joining me. Okay. Ooh, hearth. What can I... What can I make? Hearth. Hearth? Whatever. No, I don't have any of the things that I need for that. Oh, 
Alright, well, I think that's it for this place. Took a while, but managed to clear everybody out. Myself healed up. Oh. It only healed... I thought it was supposed to heal me f all the way. No? Oh well. It's a shame. And evening is beginning to fall. Oh, there's another moon carrot there. Good. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching. I think I'm going to end the stream here. And we'll continue on. I don't know. Maybe we'll just go and meet up with uh, with Jasper. I'll also have to, you know, do these quests over here. So, I think uh, curiosity has been satisfied for, for the time being. Alright, we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for joining me.